Okay, tomorrow is day one. I hope that you are excited and that you haven't just consumed the entire contents of your pantry today. <laughs> Or maybe you have if you're anything like me. So, so excited. This is such an awesome thing that you're about to do this week. The first week is the toughest, but I promise it gets easier from there. And if I can do this, whose favorite words are carbs and cheese, then you can as well. Excited to do this, uh, to coach you through this. So a couple of expectations for your first day in particular. So uh, with all the stuff that you've gotten in your kit, I'm just gonna share with you what to do with everything. So we're gonna start every day with Digestion Plus. These are these little packets, these little pixie stick type things. You can either mix it in with a protein shake. Some people shoot it just straight like a pixie stick. I can't do that. I usually mix it with a tiny glass of water and just drink it like a shot first thing in the morning um, it, it's funny these things are really interesting so this is these are your prebiotics probiotics and your digestive enzymes and this will change in taste the more alkaline your body gets the sweeter these become so if you can't stand the taste at the beginning mix it in with your protein shake but it does get better to to take as the time goes on which is cool Speaking of protein shakes, so you can either have one or two of these every day. You have enough, um, and you can choose. You can choose what meals you want to do that for. If you're like, oh, I'd prefer to do lunch and dinner, do that and have breakfast be your main non-shake meal. Um, most people do breakfast and lunch. I hate packing a lunch, so if I'm going anywhere or if you work outside the home, it's so easy to just have a shake for lunch, which is awesome. Um, yep, add a, what, a half to one scoop of fiber with your shake. So. This is a funny thing, depending on where you're at. Every time I'm pregnant and I do this <laughs> cleanse, then fiber like bites me in the butt and it makes everything difficult. So I just do like a quarter scoop of fiber. So if you're finding that you're more constipated or that kind of thing, cut down your fiber intake and jack up your water intake, if that's helpful to know. But I would start small and work your way up, see how your body's doing with it. But I would start with a half a scoop and go from there. Um, but you can have up to one scoop every day. It also, in your shake, it helps your shake to um, to make you feel fuller for longer, which is really cool. Um, la la la, fizz sticks. Okay, if you have caffeine first thing in the morning, typically, like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, replace that with a fizz stick. If you want it to be hot, brew a little detox tea and just add the fizz stick into that. You can add more water, whatever you wanna do to, to find the right ratio of taste. It's really good together, we call it a tizzy, like a tea fizzy but the fizz stick on its own is really fantastic. I usually mix this, some people do with just eight ounces of water. I like to do it with more like a jug this size kind of thing of water, because I still like the taste and I think it makes me more hydrated through the course of the day, but really, really simple. You can have one to three of these every day. If you're feeling like you're getting a, a headache from lack of caffeine, have a fizz stick and drink lots of water. Um, the body cleanse you're gonna hold off on until week three and we'll post about that in the Facebook group but don't take it yet wait until the third week of the challenge so two weeks from today ah, la la something to be aware of is to drink about half of your body weight in ounces of water every day that is just one of the healthiest decisions you can make for your life in general inside or outside of this program it's so important to keep your body hydrated keep your body working how it should but be especially aware of how much water you're drinking on the daily so if you weigh 100 pounds then you I don't know anyone who's done this <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just me I'm like this makes sense uh, but say you weigh 100 pounds then cut that in half 50 that's you need 50 ounces of water every day if that makes sense um, don't be afraid to snack if you're feeling like oh gosh I'm hungry pay attention to that and have some green apples and almond butter or, or have a handful of nuts or have some hummus and veggies or whatever it is that you've decided is a good snack for you. Um, what I want you to be aware of though is that you snack mindfully. I know this has been huge for me in this program that I tend to snack when I'm bored or tired or lonely. So instead, especially on this program, I try to be more aware of, am I hungry? Yes, then I'll have a snack. If I'm not hungry, what is it that my body actually needs or that my heart actually needs, that kind of thing. So just be aware um, and snack accordingly. 
um, the non-shake meal. So most people have a breakfast and lunch shake or one or the other, and, and then a big, a bigger meal at nighttime. Um, hopefully you have a plan for this from the meal plans provided. If not, ask me what my ideas are or to direct you in that, in that way. Um, rule of thumb that's really helpful to me is to fill half of your plate with vegetables. And that's just a good rule of thumb for the rest of life. But fill half your plate with vegetables, have a lean protein on there, have a complex carb, brown rice, quinoa, sweet potatoes, whatever. The, the the complex carb will also help you to feel fuller for longer. Um, but start with that and go with it. And then lastly, stop eating 12 hours before you're going to eat breakfast. So if you usually have breakfast at 7 a.m., stop eating by 7 p.m. that night. And that's important because it gives your body time to digest your food and then to detox your body, which is really, really important and really helpful in the course of this program. So if you feel hungry after 7, you're like, oh my gosh, I want to eat all the things. Have a cup of detox tea. It suppresses your hunger. It's really, really good if you're still like, oh my gosh, have half a scoop of fiber boost just mix with some water or almond milk and that will also really help but try to do that as best as you can and then rinse and repeat for the rest of the program and keep me keep it coming with all of the questions for me ask questions on the on the facebook group see what other people are asking you you're not gonna fail at this do your best and that will be awesome. So excited to do this with you, to coach you through it. Excited to see what your experience is. Keep me in the loop on all of your questions. You are never a bother, I promise. Um, and we'll go from there. See y'all tomorrow.